Mark is in Salt Lake City. Hey, Mark, what's up? Hi, I'm doing good. Um, I just have some issues with some family and money. Okay. Uh, my parents had given me 200 k for a house um, that we ended up buying because they're ailing in age and they couldn't maintain the property they had and my other siblings weren't really helping. And so it was easier for them to move closer and be with us. So I was perfectly fine, and I said, look. I'll so you took a $200,000 gift from them, and then you bought a house so you could take care of them. In so many words, yes. I already had a home, already paid off everything. Basically, I, that home wouldn't work for them. So I had to purchase the newer home to make it more accessible for them, for their age, and then their requirements, like their vehicles and other things of that nature. How old are your parents? In their 80s. Okay. Okay. Sounds like you've done a very nice thing, and they helped provi provide for you to take care of them. So where did it blow up? Um, this, Speak were, directly into your phone, Mark. Sorry, we're yes, having sir. a hard time hearing you. They were uh, being racist and sexist, and I gave them basically three chances to stop because I have two kids at home. <sighs> So, essentially, since they couldn't abide by that, I said, that's fine. You can have the top half. I'll have the bottom half. And, you know, if you ever need anything, let me know. So, essentially, um, I overheard my wife. Uh, well, she told me she overheard them because they're hard of hearing. Um, they were saying that they were afraid that um, I was going to murder them and take their money. But they were going to ask for their 200k back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. wait a minute. They were being racist and sexist, Correct. and they're 80 years old. Well, it's not the fact that they needed to change. I didn't ask that. I just said, like, if like you know, you're coming upstairs and you yell a racist, sexist. You have to talk into your phone. You're mumbling. Right. Yeah. He said, if you're going to say sexist and racist things at the TV, I, you know, you got to be cognizant. There's two little children running around. They're going to hear that. You got to stop. And I asked politely. And so, you know, that was kind of taken care of. How old had, are you? I am 30, uh, almost 40 years old. Okay. So what are you going to do? Well, I don't know. You know, I mean... So the 200K, um, you know, it was essentially given, and I didn't want it. I said, no, thank you. I'll take care of it myself. And then it became an ultimatum where they said, we, we give it to you and we're not going to do it, number one. And then number two, it helps us give us a day in the house, which was fine. I was like, you know, you're welcome to put up and do whatever you want on your floor. You're, you know, I can't have it downstairs because I have two little ones and I have to make sure that they're safe. So if something's unsafe, you know, I just can't have it. But When did all this blow up? So it's just, it's been a progression over years. And then finally, no, when, the did it, when did this whole thing blow up and they move upstairs and decide you were going to kill them for their money? But no, no, no. So the thing is, is um, they've been upstairs the whole time. No, I mean, you ran them upstairs and told them to go away because they were yelling racist stuff at the television. No, 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 no. That was the, the, the upstairs is more, um, you know, it has the master bedroom. It has a, a bathroom. You told me wall. that you told them to go upstairs if they couldn't behave. But no, see, they automatically live upstairs, and we would come up for dinner and things of that nature. Oh, so they right? have to stay up there. Okay, then still you no, run them no, up No, 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 no. So they, they ha they're more than welcome to come down, but again, they're elderly, so coming down the stairs isn't really an option. You're missing the point. I'm asking when this big conversation yeah. where you all had got crossways happened, a week ago, well, a day well, ago, a month ago. Again, I gave them three chances. And what so was the third strike, ago, dude? finally... My God, you talk ago. in circles. What was the third strike? So the third strike was when I was, um, essentially, I missed, uh, we, you tried to have dinner on Sundays together. And so I was running late. There was an accident on the freeway. I called them, told them I wasn't going to make it. And then on the way home, I got a phone call from my kids. Boy Scout saying, hey, we changed the meeting. It happens tonight. Can you make it? And I said, I'll give it a shot. So I get home. I have just enough time to drop off kids. Two days said, ago. Look, this is uh, three months ago. Okay. I said, look, 
Okay, so you've been living in this tension. Just stop. I don't want to hear all that. You've been living in this tension for three months. Yeah, in, well, in a way, because essentially okay. I was... You need to fine. sell the house, and they need to go on their way, and you need to give them 200 k and then you go back to your other property or something like your other property, the equivalent thereof, and they need to have their own life. Well, I understand, and that's the easy way to say it. But again, I mean, you don't just get to sell a property, buy a house that you want, that's going to work for you instantly. The market here isn't like that. It's not, oh, here you go, you know, this is, you know, what you're going to get and walk away. So essentially, they pawned the 200K off on me, and I said, I don't want it. Yeah, but you have crazy people in the upstairs of your house. Well, they turned around and said, look, here's your inheritance. Your two other brothers. I heard um, all that. You have crazy people in the upstairs of your house who are yelling racial epitaphs at the television, and they're telling other people that you're going to kill them. Yeah. This is not going well. Have you noticed? Yeah, it's irrational. I don't know what to do with the irrational. I, I, so I, I do. Said, look, get rid of it. Yeah. But, I mean, then where, how do I come up with 200 k You sell the house. Isn't it not in the equity of the house? Well, so, no, I... I went ahead because we we're we are very well financially off. Okay, what's your house worth? We, we paid about let's just round it to nine hundred k. It's worth nine hundred k. And what do you sure. owe on it? Nothing. Sell the house, hand them two hundred k, and go buy a seven hundred thousand dollar house. It's really not rocket science, Mark. Well, I understand, but uh, okay. It sounds like it's hard for you emotionally, but the actual step is is easy. We're telling you sell the house. That's it. And you're well, saying it can't be the, done. Well, the thing is, is again, I mean, yeah. You because, want me you know, to guys, get your 80-year-old crazy parents to behave like they're supposed to behave, and I can't help you with that. No, I'm, well, that's not what I'm asking. My question is, is really ethically, do they deserve the 200 k Yes. They're the ones who gave it to me. They're the I ones know, who said I know, but you don't need the money. You just told us you're so financially well off. You don't need the money. I agree. This is not about the money. Yeah, you could keep the money if you want, but I got You got to give them the money so they can go buy a nursing home or go pl- find a place to live with your brother or something. They have go, plenty. Go drive somebody else crazy. Okay, I'd be done with this. I'd give them two hundred. You're going to have to set. You tried to set some boundaries inside your own home, and it didn't work because people who don't like boundaries generally, it's shocking. They don't like boundaries, and so that's what happened. They went bananas when you drew a line in the sand. Okay. There's no scenario where they stay there and it all just works out. Well, I don't think they should. You know, I, I agree with you 100%. But you want to kick them uh, out and keep the 200 k That's not going to well, work either. No, because I'm not. They're deciding to leave, and I'm okay with that. You know what I mean? Oh, are like, they leaving? Well, they, so I just found out today. That's right. Good. I today, that's awesome. they uh, said, oh, well, we're going to get a place. Okay. And if. I, I, okay, I help you. I mean, I'm not here to hinder you. I'm here to. Right. I was here always here to help. Right. Right. Well, yeah, but help them get out, and get a place, and and do you have two hundred thousand dollars cash laying around? No, I mean I have like we and our savings have eighty. Okay. You know? Okay. And so we have that, but you know I have kids' school to pay for, and um, we yeah. don't. I mean, really, that's the only bill I have. Other but you have a house you don't need now if they move out. Well, we do. I mean, because we still need the space. You, you, you don't need the entire house that holds two people in the upstairs that aren't there anymore, dude. Um, and so, I okay, what would I do? Um, I think you're highly emotional, and you're having a real problem thinking through this clearly. So, I'll tell you what I would do. I'd sell my house, and I'd hand them 200 k I wouldn't be in a big hurry to do it, but I'd do it reasonably and judiciously. 